Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can add quick links to a SharePoint page or site. If you like what you see today, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. So let's get over into SharePoint. Here I am in SharePoint and I'm in a page that has not been published yet, but has been saved as a draft. I need to put the page into edit mode and this works the same for SharePoint sites as well. I can now choose where I want to put my section that's going to contain the quick links. So I can either sandwich it between existing sections or in this case, I can scroll to the bottom and if I come over to the left hand side, I've got the little square with a plus in it where I can add a new section. And I select that and then I can either create columns across the bottom. So one column through to three columns or I can create a vertical section as well. And this will then put a, a vertical column up the side of the page where I can then put my quick links in and that will push the quick links towards the actual top of the page if I chose that option. However, for today, I just want to select one column and my quick links are going to go in right at the very bottom of the page. I now need to select the quick links web part. I've got my circle with the cross in it. I can then open up my web part picker. I can then scroll down till I find the quick links web part. Or, and using the search box at the top here, I can just type in the word quick and that will then just pull the quick links forward for me to select. So I'm just going to click on that and that has now added a quick links web part to the bottom of my page. Let's put it in the section there. All I want to do to start off with is get the title in and start to add my links and then I can manage the layout to suit the page. By default, the title is quick links. However, I'm just going to change that to useful links and beneath that I get my first icon added and for today I'm going to put a link into a document stored in a SharePoint library, a link to a website and also a link to uh, another page that's being held within SharePoint. So we'll go with the document first. So I'm just going to hit add link and I'm going to select from a link. I've got another tab open at the top here. And that's already looking into a SharePoint library. And within this library, I've got my running club application form. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy the link. I'm just going to make sure in the settings that everybody in my organization has access to it. And all I need to do now, once the link is copied, is go back and then drop that link into the box. I can now select add. And once I've selected add, as you can see, description of the link has opened up straight away so it's a running club application form and when I drop that in it automatically opened up my edit page here I've got a few things that this link can do once it's opened by the end user so I can either set it so the link is opened in a completely new tab I can then also change the title of the link so I'm just going to drop off the .xls on here so it's just a running club application form so by default, you get this globe icon here. I can put a custom image in here, so I can actually put a little photograph in. They do look quite small, or, or I can then come down to the icon picker here. By then selecting change, that opens up a huge list of icons that I can select from. And you do get an option to search. There's been an application form. Let's select the Office Forms logo. And that's then added it to my link here. So now that I've got my first link in, I'm now going to add my next link, which is going to be to a website. Let's click add a link here. Go back to from a link. And I've got another tab open at the top here. So I've got a website open, which is the Cloud Design Box homepage. So I'm just going to select that and drop that in. Click add. And you can see once I've dropped the link in, the edit section has reopened. So I'm going to set it so that it opens the link in a new tab. I'm going to change the title just to CDB Home. I can put a custom image in here, so I'm just going to select Change. And I have a picture of the Cloud Design Box badge, which I'm going to select and then add that image. And that puts the CDB icon onto my link. 
So the third and final useful link will be to another SharePoint page. And I've got a couple of ways that I can do that. So I'm going to start off by selecting Add Links. And my page opens up and I can come down to, in this case, the site. I'm going to come across to Site Pages, open it up. And I've got a travel page that I'm now going to add. So I'll select the line, click Select on the bottom there. And that's now added that to my links. And the other way I can add a page is to, again, select Add Links, go from a link, but actually go into the page itself, pick up the address at the top and drop that into my From a Link option, and then select Add. Either either works exactly the same. And with this link, again, I'm going to change the icon and the title. So again, I want it to open a new link, alter the title, and go for an icon. I just need to find an icon off the list. Select a train icon, select that. And there's my three links now added. So I've now got my three links added and I can alter things around a little bit so I can pick up a link and I can drag and drop it along the page here. So I can put the application form up first and followed by the home page next. Now that I've got my links all in the right order, I just want to change the look of it somewhat. So at the top of the page here, I can go to edit web part. That will open up my options window here. So by default, it comes as a compact layout. I can alter it to a film strip, so the icons will scroll. Put it as a grid view. I can change them to buttons. I can put it in list view. I can also select it to tiles as well. So it's a potentially is whatever suits your page. With the button and the tile layouts, we do get some additional options. So for example, with the buttons, I can move the icon around so I can set it up so the icon is on top. I can also adjust the button and I can move things around so the text is either one line or two lines. So again, that just neatens everything up a little bit. Or if I go to tiles, I can change from small tiles, medium to large. I can go extra large. Or I can just fill the space. One thing to note that once you go beyond the large option into extra large and fill space, it will drop off the link description. So again, if I go back to large here, you'll just see the image on the button and I just need to push that button over so the text comes back. However, for this one, I'm not so keen on this layout. I'm going to go back into button and I want the alignment to be center. The icons on top. Once I've finished editing this, I can close the quick links button down. And finally, I want the section to blend in with the rest of my page. So I'm just going to come over to the left here. I'm going to select edit section. I can change the layout options if I wish. And also I do get some options to change the background shading so I can go to the red color. So it all sort of blends in, put the gray on, slightly lighter gray or keep it as white. I'm going to go for the gray option. I think in this case, now that I've selected my background color, I can either save the page as a draft to either come back and add further content or I can republish it and then make it live. For people to see. So here's my links now live. So if I click on travel information, that will then open up the page directly for me. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel. And also once you've subscribed, if you hit the activity bell, we'll notify you every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. Thanks for watching.